Hey guys, Nathan at Duck River Honey, and I've got a busy bee day today. Uh, as you can tell, my hive stand back here, I've got five colonies on it now. Uh, these are all swarm catches, so I've got two from the double swarm catch, and I've got three from the triple swarm catch. Uh, the three I moved back last night from the reorientation yard, so they are very busy today trying to figure life out. Uh, their surroundings and everything have changed, so they're, they're just really, really busy. Um, but I'm going to assess condition on all of these hives. And what I'm looking for is to make sure that they've got enough food, make sure that they've got a queen, and make sure that they've got enough space. So I don't want them to plug out, and that could cause them to swarm again. Um, so I want to add space where they need it. I want to make sure that they've got a good queen. I want to make sure they've got plenty to eat. So we're going to move through these pretty quick because I've also got to go through my honey production hives. Um, where we're at in the season, it is mid-April, and some of the tulip poplars are just starting to bloom. And that means in the next couple weeks, tulip poplar should reach full bloom, and that is a major honey flow here in my part of Tennessee. So um, bees have got the potential to store a tremendous amount of nectar in the next two to three weeks, and I need to make sure that my colonies are prepared for that. Now, I have had several swarms uh, come out of a, at least a couple of colonies, maybe as many as three, I think. But I believe that the rest of them are probably going to stay home and make honey. Um, so I'm going to assess those really quickly. And we also may get into a swarm catch because I know I've got a swarm or two um, hanging over here. So, so this may be a fast-paced video. Bear with me. We're going to jump in. A lot of bees, a lot, a lot of bees. Goodness, yeah, they're, they'll probably need a box here. Building a little bit of bridge comb here. We'll discourage that. All right, let's see condition. They've been in this box right at a week. You can see they are starting to draw that, but have not made a lot of progress. The next frame they are drawing. So if there was going to be eggs in the top box, I would say it would be here. And we've got eggs. So we have a laying queen in this hive. Wouldn't surprise me to see her. Okay. So that tells me what I need to know. These guys are doing what they're supposed to. Which is build comb, lay eggs, establish a nest. So what I will do is give them a box to expand into. One of the reasons I like the equipment system that I've arrived at here, which is all mediums, and when I use feeders, they are these uh, cap and ladder style frame feeders. The all medium you know, the medium makes a nice nuke box size, which is wonderful. And then I can just ladder this feeder straight up, add another box on top, and move the feeder to the top box. Minimal disturbance to the colony. And it's just easy for me, which I'm a fan of. So this hive I expect to be much smaller. Well, maybe not. They've got a good number of bees in here. That's encouraging. They are, they still have about half a tank of syrup here. And not a ton of comb building going on. Let's see. 
They just don't have the bee power that this other hive has. So they've got some comb built, they've got some emergency cells, but they've also got eggs. So this is actually a, a, a hive from the double swarm catch, and I'm going to call them good. I'm going to say that, that they're, they had a virgin queen, and it took her a while to get started, and she's figuring things out. There's actually multiple eggs in some of these cells multiple multiple eggs but they are in the bottom so i don't know we've got queen cells with three and four eggs in them this could be signs of a laying worker hive could be a queen just trying to get her business sorted out an immature queen. So I would not say that this hive is safe by any means. They need more comb built. They need a laying queen. Yeah, there's two and three eggs in almost every cell and some cell there's one cell there that I see eight or ten eggs in. Hmm. Let me get a different camera. I'll try to show you what I'm talking about here. So as you can see you see some nectar in some of these. There's one egg, that's what you want to see, but three or four, and then some of them, just a crazy amount of eggs. So this could be a sign of a virgin that's just getting, you know, just sort of finding her way. Uh, it could also be a bad sign. It could mean you've got an unmated queen or laying worker so I don't know exactly what's going on yet, but it's not a good sign. It's not what you want to see. So we'll be patient with them, give them another week, but I'm not seeing the progress that I would like to see in this hive. These guys have still got some syrup and I'm not going to give them any more. I'm not going to give them any space. They need to prove out before I do anything else with them. So they've got some work to do. These guys are pretty small in comparison to those others. Since that's a food frame, and they've only got three frames that are working, I would assume that if there are to be eggs, it would be on this one. And there are. They look nice. One per cell. There's one with two per cell. So this could have been an after swarm with a virgin queen, but she has obviously mated successfully and come back. I'm scanning quickly. If I see her, that's great. It's neat, but it's not necessary. I've just learned everything I need to learn. Oh, there she is. There's the queen. Nice big queen. Right there. Nice looking queen. 
She's not marked. Really nice looking queen. I'm happy with her. Yeah, we'll put her up. Gently. Give these guys some food. Make sure they're on the small entrance reducer setting. And let them build. They've got a lot of work to do for the number of bees that they've got. So guys, this hive in the number two position over here, um, I don't know if they've got a good queen or not. I really don't. I'll give them another week to sort themselves out. And after that, I'll probably shake them out, take them 50 yards away, shake all the bees out, put the box back, and come and get it that evening and do a newspaper combine with this hive. Uh, this hive has got a good looking queen. She's laying, she's doing what she's supposed to. The hive is trying, but they are weak. This hive over here has more bees, but it's not doing what it's supposed to. It, it, it does not have a good laying queen at this point. That could still straighten out. But by next week, if they don't have, this, have that sorted out, then uh, I, I will sort it out for them. The reason that I would take them and shake them out is if they do have a laying worker or a queen that uh, is not well mated, I don't have to spend a lot of time looking for her. All I have to do is take all the bees in there and shake them out 50 yards away. Hopefully the queen won't be able to fly back. A laying worker shouldn't be able to fly back. All the other bees would fly back. Get them that evening, newspaper combine them with this hive those two become one and i've suddenly given this hive a, that has a good queen a boost of bees so they will have more bee power they'll be able to do more and just do better all right guys so the setup here i've got a bee brush my stool i've got a double medium hive set up with an entrance reducer on the larger setting uh, the bottom has got frames 10 frames in it the top has got six with an opening in the middle I also put one spray of Swarm Commander on the back wall and about a half a spray on the entrance. What I'm going to try to do is to get as many bees in this bucket as I can, dump them in that hive, and then shake the rest of them until they are gone off of this tree. And they're going to be too tall for me to reach with the bee brush. So I'm just going to give them a good shake and hope that some go into the bucket here. Now obviously when you're doing this you need a good bee suit. I'm absolutely covered in bees right now. <laughs> Get down to the ground, guys. Go find your hive. So I shook the bees a second time off of the tree. They are forming on the box here. And we're beginning to see a march toward the door. Which is good. You can see the bees marching there that is a very good sign not only that but there are far fewer bees reforming up in the tree so i may have to shake them again maybe not Right now, we'll give this some time, see how it develops. See if these bees down here start calling the ones in the tree to them. We'll check in on these later. Now we'll go look through the honey production hives. Geez, I don't know why there's so many upset bees in the air. <laughs> it's not like I just shook 30,000 down on the ground or anything. All right, so what I'm doing with these guys, 
all of my production hives is I want, just want to assess condition numbers and see whether they need supers or not. So this is sort of a yes, no decision that will be made very quickly. This hive I'm betting will not because I think they swarmed. I actually think they swarmed several times. And we've got foundation, foundation, foundation. Starting to draw, starting to draw, foundation. That's it. That's all I need to know. I don't know what this hive is doing. Now it is mid afternoon and the temperatures are nice. So there should be a lot of bees out foraging. But there are no, very, very few bees up here in this super. They are not drawing comb. They're not doing any work. So they don't need a super. That's all I need to know about them. This hive may have swarmed, I don't know. Like I said, right now, all I want to do is to keep ahead of the honey flow. If I can catch it, I want to catch it. I don't want to lose any. A lot more bees up here. At least at first appearance. Oh yeah, a lot of bees. I see white wax, that's a good sign. White wax, white wax, white wax. I uh, can't tell how far over they're drawing. Festooning here, starting to draw here. So they've got uh, one, two, three, four frames in the center that they're working on. And let's see, I probably move those two up. Let's take a look at this one, see what they're doing with it. Nope, I need more room in there if I'm gonna do that. They're drawing those out fat, extra fat. bees capped honey wow but they're not finishing the rest of the frame there that's odd and they've got some brood on this next one okay well I don't love what I'm seeing here but maybe a flow will get them to show a little initiative and we should be hitting a, a flow soon so I'll leave them for now but I'll probably have to do a midweek check, at least peek into this one. I try to, I'm gonna try to turn the holes up on the hives that I'm not concerned with and turn them sideways facing the front and back on the ones that I, I think I need to check. Um, that's a system I've used before. A lot of times I don't do it, but when I'm doing frequent checks, it's, uh, it's just an easy way to reference All right, so that's it for super assessments for now. Let's go check on this swarm. Uh, looks like they're going back to the tree, which is not what I want, <laughs> but we'll see. All right, so let's assess condition quickly. Open this up. No bees in the box. That's not what we need. We need bees in the box. 
They're actually low enough now, I think I can sweep some in here. This is a hard swarm to get because they're around the trunk of the tree. Um, I can't shake them off into the bucket very well. It's just a tough one. We'll keep messing with them, see if we can get them. I'm hoping to disrupt their pheromone with the smoke and maybe they'll start collecting on the box below. I'm bringing out every trick on these guys. Got some be quick. I'm going to try to make this tree a pretty un undesirable place to be. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. So the bee repellent got them out of this tree. And some of them are going to the hive. But the bees in the air are now reforming on this tree. <laughs> Goodness. You silly bees. All right, so as you can see, the swarm has moved into my other pear tree. I'm actually sort of happy about this because they're on a limb that's got some angle to it. They're not on the main trunk. And I believe I can shake them into a bucket now and just dump them in this hive, hopefully. Uh, I did just drag this hive over here on the tarp. I've got a good canvas tarp uh, that makes that pretty easy. So they are directly underneath uh, the swarm. And I'm about to shake them into a bucket again and see if I can get more bees dumped into the, into the box here. Guys, this is a spectacle of nature. It's, uh, it's something I don't really get tired of watching. It's just super, super cool how these bees reproduce to you know, swarm and start new colonies. It's just super neat. If you want to know the history on this swarm and why I think this hive swarmed, um, go watch the video Breaking the Honey Dome. This was my double deep Italian hive. This is also the hive that had a mite bomb last fall. Um, that hive is a double deep, so I rotated the boxes, and then I put a super of drawn comb on it. My other hives, I tried to checkerboard in drawn comb into the top of the brood box, and I could do that because they were in triple mediums. So I've got a medium super and medium high body. The frames are interchangeable, of course. With that double deep, 
I couldn't really checkerboard in and draw and comb without putting another deep on top of it. And I'm not gonna run deeps. Uh, they're, they're just heavier and um, I'm trying to do a little future proofing, just make everything consistent, everything easy, everything interchangeable. So I'm running all mediums. And I think it's an indication that my strategy may work in the future. <laughs> I've had a bunch of a bunch of swarms this year, so we'll see. But um, I think that that double deep orientation with the super on top may have contributed to this hive swarming. Um, I'm not really surprised. I'm not heartbroken about it. I need more hives. You know, I think I've got 14 right now. I may have to combine a couple that you saw earlier and take that back to 13. So this would take me back to 14 or 15, and I want to get to 30 or 35 before combining and weeding out the week and ending the year with you know 25 or 30 going into winter. Guys, if you like my videos, then please give me a like, a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. All of those things help get the word out about my channel. It, it lets YouTube show my channel to more people interested in beekeeping videos. And my goal with this channel is to encourage people to get into beekeeping. And when they do get into beekeeping, to be successful. So I try to present sim simple information. Uh, you know, go over some pretty complex things, but in a way that anyone can understand. I, I try really hard to do that. So if you can share this and, and do those things, that helps me get the word out about it and reach more people. So I appreciate you doing that. Well, good morning, folks. Situation is very similar to what it was last night. I've got a cluster on the front of the box I tried to move them into. And I've still got a swarm in the tree. They're probably not going to like this this early in the morning. I'm not wearing my full suit. I also don't feel like putting it on. So we'll just go with what we've got here. There's a queen right there. Of course, I don't have my queen clip. <clears throat> now, let's see if I can find her. There we go. All right, we have a queen. I don't know if this is the queen, but we have a queen. Got in there, unmarked, so that may be a virgin. She looks pretty young. She's got a good size abdomen, so I don't know. But with her in this box, we've got a hive. All right, guys, so I know that this, uh, at least part of this swarm came from my Italian hive, which did have a queen uh, a marked queen. Uh, she was marked blue from last year. The queen that I just found was not marked. There could be multiple queens in this swarm. Um, I really do think that an after swarm may have merged with the original swarm. I don't know that for sure, but um, we'll see. Um, this box has got a queen in it. If she's good, the bees should like her. They should figure out where to go. So we'll come back this afternoon and see what they have done. Guys, as you can see, it's afternoon, and I believe that these bees have finally started to figure this out. I got the queen in the box this morning, and I believe that that got them sorted. So it's still chaotic right now, and there's a lot of bees in this box. And I've got an opening or a void in the middle, and I know what they're going to do. Uh, they're going to festoon and cluster on that inner cover and start building comb down pretty quickly. 
especially since they've been here a few days. So since they seem to have moved in, I really do want to release that queen and get these extra frames in. I like that queen. There you go, girl. Right down. Good, good, good. That's exactly what I want. Now we will take our time. And ease these frames in. I'm going to close these guys up and call them a success for now. They can still surprise me. Guys, excuse my voice this morning. My two-year-old gave me a cold and I've gone hoarse. So I'm going to close the video out here and I will pull the entrance. Uh, that'll be the last thing that I do. And I'll probably run after I do that. Um, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you enjoy my videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. All of those things help me to reach uh, people interested in beekeeping. That's, that's really my mission with this channel, is to encourage people to get into beekeeping and to help them be successful once they do. So I appreciate you doing that. appreciate you watching. That wasn't bad. It's too cold for them. It's too cold for them to do too much. That's gonna be a good hive. That's gonna be a really good hive. Beautiful, beautiful.